But first, business owner Margaret Bistre is leading us to try an experience that is unexpected and off the beaten path. Her pick inside the Perry Hotel offers coastal cuisine. From the waterfront view to the low-key vibe, she says it's the culinary experience you've been looking for. It's in Stock Island and it's called Matt's Stock Island Kitchen and Bar. Matt's Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is a restaurant located inside the Perry Hotel, also adjacent to the Stock Island Marina Village. And you're just gonna really see an elevated level of food, service, atmosphere that you're not gonna find anywhere else. We're right on the water, so the fishing boats pull right up, display what fish they have for us. What makes our food American coastal cuisine is we try and pull from all coasts of, of the country. So we have San Francisco influences, we do Alaskan salmon, I'm from the low country of South Carolina, so we have a lot of southern influence. Uh, so we just try and jump, you know, any coast, east or west, and pull the best flavors that we can and present it on the table here. Some of our signature dishes, actually, the one that I think we're most well known for is our seafood tower. You get samples of oysters, Key West pink shrimp, local stone crab claws, ahi tuna tartare, ceviche, and then all kinds of sauces, mignonette cocktail, uh, icy hot sauce, horseradish, and it's just displayed really beautiful and kind of shows that we're, we're a really seafood-centric restaurant. When people come in here to eat, we want them to feel super comfortable. We want them to feel at home. Uh, we're not a pretentious restaurant. We want you here for your anniversaries and your holidays. We want you to come here because you're hungry on a Tuesday afternoon also. Matt Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is an elevated twist on American coastal comfort food. So tell me a little bit about the restaurant. Now tell me about the food, <laughs> tell me about the space. So you walk in and there's this really cool, edgy design and a lot of um, local artists, historic black and white photographs. So it's a really great mix of blending into the surrounding but also offering something really new and fresh. Chefs came from Charleston, South Carolina, so you definitely have that um, southern comfort, you know, yummy food that people mm -hmm. love from the deep south. That soul kissing food, soul, right? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um, you know, they make, they make great uh, southern standards, but then being on um, on Stock Island where the shrimp boat come in and the fishing boats come in, um, they really take advantage of that and they celebrate that and use local seafood to the to the utmost. So what did you have this last time you went in? I had what I usually have, which is um, you have the catch of the day and they usually have two or three selections and then you can actually choose your sauce and preparation. So, so what do. was your catch? So you I had, um, I did do the salmon because I just really was, um, okay. I know, I so know. Maybe Here not I'm so talking about local seafood. Case, but, but anyway. Um, but it was, it's wild salmon which is just you know this brief season and I just thought I'm gonna have them prepare you know some wild salmon for me the other choice was mahi which I love and I had the ceviche of the mahi so I did have that so tell me about the salmon what so, sauce did you choose um, with it? I had the chimichurri and okay. they bring it on the side and you know the salmon was just so fresh and so perfectly done so right. I just kind of drizzled it so fresh and so wonderfully right. so you just have to treat it simply and, and that's what they do so, Randy yeah. Well, um, our friend Terry had the mahi, mm -hmm. and my wife Nancy had the lobster, which she loved. And yours? I had fish and chips. And then what was that like? It was, it was good. It was good. Um, it was small pieces of fish. There were many of them, but, mm -hmm. you know, it was a little, little greasy in my opinion. Oh, was it a little greasy? Just a little bit. Was it nice and crunchy batter, though? Yes. Okay. Yes. And the chips were fries? Mm-hmm. They were great. The French, Big I love French fries. fat fries or skinny fries? Skinny. Okay. Skinny. Tartar sauce? Of course. Okay. Anything else? Yeah. All right. Julie? <laughs> I, I like the Perry Hotel. and um, As you said, it's just, it, it was really good, and there's so much to choose from. Um, I had the uh, uh, fried green tomatoes. Delicious. And How it, did that it was come? Very, very good. It did have a, a, uh, a bacon jam on mm -hmm. the side, which I'm not a big fan of bacon, but right. it's my friends who were, loved it. More than anything, we should preface that you're pretty much a vegetarian. Pretty much, sometimes yes. Sometimes you'll dip into the, the fish seafood category, That's but correct. not too often. And being a wine consultant, we have to do that. So it's, it's, and it's great. But the fried green tomato, they had a uh, pimento cheese also with that. So it was good. so good. So it was good. so good. I love pimento cheese. It's such a southern yeah. staple. It really is. And um, I, the fish dip, which was delicious. I love smoked fish dip. I'm a big fan of that. They had the crackers and the vegetables. There was so much to choose from. I mean, the, it really is lunch and dinner. I mean, it's the way that they do everything is it's a lot. So you have to go back to get all the flavors and to, you know, to take advantage of, of the restaurant for sure. Right. And the, being on the marina, it's, it's, it's very great. It's beautiful, right? Yes, it is. Can I just add one thing though? Cause I agree the menu has like bacon and pork belly and so many things, but almost always you can get it without. Like for mm -hmm. example, I had the baked potato on the side and they make a homemade cheese with sauce, which is so good. And it normally comes with bacon. Oh, okay. And I just left it off. Anybody drink anything fun? 
Just wine. <laughs> <laughs> wine, right? Of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I did. I had uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. I had Simi Sauvignon Blanc. And it, it, again, that's a great wine. It just really went with everything that I had at that it time. goes well with the southern food, it doesn't does, it? Yeah. It does. It does. Did have a cocktail as well. I can Did comment on that. I have to talk about their cocktails. I had the the Hemingway Daiquiri, and they do a lot of um, classic cocktails there, and they do like a little twist or a variation, and they do uh, grapefruit juice there, and then a sugar rim, and it's just. I do love the Hemingway. That's actually my favorite it's, daiquiri. That's I think. a great daiquiri. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. And and it comes you know filled to the brim, and I don't know how that waiter gets it to the table without sloshing it is pretty pretty <laughs> impressive. Pretty impressive, no doubt. <laughs> You yeah. actually had dessert. Yeah, we did. And do you remember what that was? Um, I had a banana marble cake and ice cream sandwich with uh, had the chocolate chip cookies on each side. It was good. It was good. You did notice, and I think that you wrote about this, that it wasn't really your typical Keys kind of a place. Is no. that correct? No, it's not. And I mean, that's what you mentioned, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, I'm not a big fan it's of southern cooking. Industrial so, looking, I mean, it's yeah, kind of hard for me mm -hmm. to, to really get into it, you know. How can you not like Southern cooking? I'm from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> but it's right on the water, and the location is beautiful. And I, I'm a scuba dive instructor, so I, I'm on the water a lot. And right. one of the boats we go out on is right there. You can literally see and watch the, um, the boats creaking there. Fishing boats come in, you know, so you have this sort of polished hotel, but then you still have salty characters. So I love that kind of that mix. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really is. Good. Well, Margaret, yes. um, Matt Stock Island Kitchen was your choice. Sum it up for us. Matt Stock Island is old Key West with um, sort of upgraded to a new modern aesthetic. Very friendly and really great service and a variety of food from Southern Comfort to um, celebrating local seafood. Nice. Randy? Yeah. Yeah, I think it was you know, great service and a wide variety of food. I think if you're looking for something different, you'll have a really good time there. Julie? It's what Key West or Stock Island needed. I think it's a great diversity and yeah, it's a great addition to, uh, to what they have. Well, for a true standout in the Florida Keys, Matt Stock Island Kitchen and Bar is the place to be. Located at 7001 Shrimp Road in the Perry Hotel, open daily for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Reservations are accepted and the average price for dinner without drinks is about $65.